This is Nitin from Zeroda, and I would be running a quick overview video on Pi, our new trading platform. We are still in the beta testing, so this is the beta release of Pi, uh, and this should help uh, everyone starting off uh, to get a hang on the basic features and functionalities of Pi. Okay, so this is how the login window should look like. Uh, always keep the quick login ticked. The reason for this being, uh, you know, it will log in much faster. So, but one of those things that you need to keep in mind is that every time there are new contracts, uh, new scripts added, uh, do a login without this. So, so that way the new contracts get downloaded. This is how uh, the market watch should look like uh, once you're logged in. Adding scripts on this is quite simple. Uh, use the drop down boxes. So if I want to add uh, Nifty Futures, I'll do FUTIDX, I'll choose Nifty, the month, and then I can either click enter or I can use the add button. Right. So, so as you can see, the contract gets added. Now, we've also done uh, one better on this. So we have given you an option to actually add indices onto the market watch itself. So you can choose NSE. Uh, under the EQ drop down, you can see an option called indices. Click on this. Uh, so right now you can add Nifty and Bank Nifty. So assuming I add Nifty, uh, enter. So you can actually see the Nifty chart, right? So the market watch is a standard market watch. Uh, you can move your columns around if you want, or you can right click here and say choose columns. And you get an option to basically, you know, add other things on the market watch as well. Uh, also, a very interesting thing that you could probably see on the market was is the quick view of the charts, right? So it'll give you very short trend uh, of the market. So you know, so if you are looking for a short-term trading opportunity, you know, if you have 20 stocks on the market watch, just look at this and and then you can initiate the chart. So uh, another interesting thing uh, with the market watches, say if I double-click on um, any of the stocks, I get what is called a snap code where you can see the best five bids and the best five offers. Uh, so you can actually also see my net position for the day here. You know, So as you can see, I have shorted uh, 50 nifty and my mark to market price of profit is 95 rupees. My average selling price is 7864. Now, uh, this would show only day wise positions. So if you're carrying something from overnight, uh, it won't show up here. Also, you can actually use the the best five bits and offer as uh, as a price ladder. So, uh, so if you want to buy, uh, let's say seven eight six three point three five. So you want to buy the, you know, you just have to click and the order window opens. Files, orders, positions, funds, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, interesting thing with both admin positions and your stock holding position is that uh, in admin position. Along with knowing your market profit and loss based on previous closing price, you also can see your total profit and loss. Uh, this is based on your actual price of acquisition. So for example, I had bought the US dollar October futures at 61.96. Now the last traded price is 61.40. So my loss on this totally is 555 rupees. Now, uh, if you actually want to See the market market profits uh, or loss in this case is uh, yesterday's closing price was 61.53. So based on the last traded price, it's a mark to market loss of uh, 130 rupees. By default, the chart and the chart tools are disabled. So if you want to enable this, uh, right click on whichever contract you wish to see the chart for. Uh, click on chart. Choose the time interval. So you can choose a one minute chart an hour chart, day chart, week chart. So if you want to make it say five minutes, so choose minute and make this as five. Uh, click OK to initiate the chart. Uh, you will see at the bottom requesting the chart. So I just uh, opened a thousand candle chart so you can uh, basically th see thousand one minute candles of the Nifty October future contract. Right. So uh, zoom in and zoom out is quite simple. Uh, to zoom in, uh, click and drag. Right. If you want to zoom in more, click once again, you can zoom in more. Zoom out is simple. Right. If you want to scroll left and right, uh, you can use these keys. Okay. So there are 10 chart types. Uh, 
you know your point and figure Renko bar can and there are 80 odd indicators uh, this is just a start so we can add more on this so if you have something that you want to see here send us a shout out and uh, we will try to get this done at as soon as possible so adding an indicator again very simple choose the time period and say apply right uh, so you can see this over the thousand candle period removing the indicator is a little tricky uh, it'll get a little getting used to so click on anywhere on the chart so you'll see the white square box right click on the square box and say delete series right so and then it gets removed you can add multiple indicators if you wish to uh, there are multiple chart tools so for example you can have text you can have your buy symbols sell symbols you know this is exit symbols so uh, you can have your Fibonacci retracements and as I said you know so you even get a uh, free hand drawing you know so you can draw whatever you wish right about uh, arranging the uh, pie screen so I have four charts opened here and also the nifty uh, futures the nifty index the bank nifty and the ACC stock chart right uh, so if you want to see everything together this is how you arrange it right so uh, click on nifty uh, drag it and place it wherever you wish right so it gets placed here right so if you want to add the nifty index right so you have it next to each other now if you want to see the market watch as well as the nifty so you can hold this here and write this here so you get to see this right so you have the bank nifty now if you want to see the ACC right it's quite simple right so uh, you can arrange this the way you want what the way you're very comfortable with now another interesting thing with uh, pi is that you can actually undock any of this window so for example if I want to say undock the nifty October future window I go to uh, view settings uh, and then I say pop out active window so this is undocked so why do we undock the window uh, so if you have a multi monitor setup so you can actually drag and drop this screen onto the other monitor so you can undock the multiple windows and now if you have multi monitor setup it works quite well right? uh, you close it it gets attached back to the it gets docked back so you have user settings right so where uh, you can set uh, sound alerts uh, for um, order events for expert advisors you can choose your market watch uh, you can choose your market indices so what do you want to see on this box here uh, and then uh, so an interesting thing I, I guess you would have noticed is the quick order window on on charts on which you can trade so for example this nifty October future chart you can basically buy and sell right off here right uh, the reason you see this reconcile button is uh, assume you got disconnected for say five minutes from the internet you get back on so you would probably have missed those five minutes of chart data so if you want to see that data again come back and reconcile so you know so you have a chart with the entire data on it now right uh, so yeah so uh, there are shortcut keys here which are quite explanatory uh, an interesting feature again is we have four application styles uh, by default you get the Zeroda theme but you can choose uh, a white theme if you like you can uh, choose the silver or the blue right so I prefer the Zeroda theme so I'll go back to my theme right so uh, you have a bunch of other settings you know I mean uh, these are things that you you know if you try you will get a hang of it an interesting thing that you can do on the chart uh, I kind of love this so which is basically to trade off the chart so uh, so I personally think it you know visually it, it helps to place your trades better than you know than just looking at the numbers so so for example uh, this seems like a support here this seems like a resistance here so a decent trade would be to buy about this right so the first time in the day it will probably ask you for the uh, uh, for the transaction password right and and to sell below this right so 
So yeah, so you know, as soon as you place both of these, the orders are placed. You can go check it out in your order book. Both the orders are pending, right? And uh, the, to cancel the orders, you can just right click on the chart and say clear all orders, right? So it gets uh, cancelled, right? So uh, you can't cancel one order at a time now. So uh, so when you say clear all orders, all the pending orders on the chart gets ca uh, cleared. So the market uh, index box, right? So uh, presently you can track only uh, the market indices, but very soon we will let you add stocks and other contracts as well. So this, uh, if you use the Alt Tab window to move around, so you will see that the market index box stays here. So you know you can actually run your work and keep a track on what's happening on the market. Now, if you don't want to see this, uh, minimize the application so you don't see it. An important tool uh, available on uh, Pi is the entire alerts and artificial intelligence section. You know, so, uh, so you can actually backtest your strategy. You know, if you have a technical analysis strategy, you can backtest it over a period of time. Uh, so, if we give you fifty thousand candles, you can actually backtest it for fifty thousand candles, right? And then once you're backtested, you're happy with your results, you can actually use the scripted alert, or you can use the expert advisors. You know, so. Uh, so yeah, so I'm I'm backtesting a very simple strategy, which is your EMA close strategy. So where you're buying if the close is above 14 minute EMA and selling is if it's less. You know, so uh, I am uh, backtesting this for Nifty 14th October future contract, uh, one minute for 1,000. Right. So I click backtest. So this basically shows me the chart of Nifty future for the last thousand candles with the same strategy and where the buy and sell signals would have shown. So let me just zoom in, right? So, so the entire buy, sell, right? Now, if you go back to the back test screen, you get everything that you need, right? So you get, uh, you get to see how many number of trades were executed, uh, the number of profitable trades, the number of loss making trades, the total profit, total loss. As you can see, you know, this, uh, this strategy would have been a loss making strategy. Right. But uh, but yeah, but uh, you get all the trades that would have been initiated as well. Now, once you have the strategy, assuming the strategy was a profitable strategy, right? So you can actually go back and create a scripted alert, right? And you can basically use the same strategy, you know. So, and once you use a scripted alert, every time the strategy gives you a buy or a sell, a window opens up asking you to buy and sell. Right? Works very well. Uh, so you also have scanners. Uh, scanners lets you scan across the market. So uh, I'll put up uh, another video which will give you like a detailed explanation on using all of these features. Uh, also, uh, let me just go back to Nifty future chart. Right. Also, say expert advisors. Right. So expert advisors is very similar to scripted alert. Uh, so we have given you a bunch of uh, preset expert advisors. Pre expert advisors are again strategies. Right. So so there, for example, there is a golden crossover strategy uh, you can apply. So now once you apply, whenever the strategy gives you a buy or a sell, you get a pop-up asking you to buy and sell, right? Uh, similarly, right, so uh, you have other uh, very smart tools like the consensus report, the neural network, the pattern recognition, and the genetic algorithm. Uh, so I will run by another video which will explain how to use both of these sections, right? So, but for someone who's already used this, uh, this should be quite simple. Uh, the the scripting language, right? So, when you are backtesting a strategy, uh, the scripting language that is used is uh, basically called trade script. You can find the trade script uh, help document here. So, uh, we also have on Z Connect a complete section dedicated to this. You know, so if you come to charting, coding, and backtesting section, you can see Algo's code your strategy tutorial. Um, the codes that you see on this are, are basically trade scripts. So, you know, so we have answered a few hundred queries here. So, uh, for those who don't understand uh, uh, trade script, uh, this is a good place to get started. So, uh, we will very soon have a complete section. Uh, for Pi on uh, ZConnect, uh, where we will again go back and run every bit of the feature available uh, in detail uh, using videos and snapshots. If you have any suggestions or you know you want something that you want to see on uh, on Pi, uh, 
do go ahead and uh, send send an email out to me you know nitin@zerodo.com thanks a lot and uh, hopefully you guys like what you're seeing